it it's hard waking up every single day in pain from head to toe. I'm tired. I'm tired all the time. I I feel like I have just many, many pills in me that make me tired all the time. I don't think I have an outlet. I don't have anybody that I really talk to except the two girls. I very seldom share with anybody else. I bounced around between lots of doctors, specialists, MRIs, x-rays. To be able to be diagnosed with it, it took about a year and a half to do that. And then finally in August, August 31st of 2004, I was confirmed with a case of fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a neuromuscular condition that's associated with an unexplained pain uh, for the individuals. Uh, the pattern is usually def is uh, chronic in nature. Your, your nerves are just going haywire and, and they don't really know how to calm down themselves. The individual will often will be diagnosed based on 11 uh, of 18 active trigger points over the body, usually in the major muscle groups uh, of the body, so the, the arms, the legs, the back. I have two daughters with fibromyalgia. I've never been diagnosed with it, but I think I've had it for about 30 years going by Mikey and Jenny's symptoms that they have. Burning. It burns all the time. My legs, my body, ins I burn from the inside out. My core temperature is so hot all the time. I have two air conditioners in my house, and one of them is in my bedroom, and it never shuts off. The way fibro affects me is that I have constant pain in my arms, my legs, my back. Um, it causes restless leg syndrome in me. Most of the time my feet and ankles hurt so bad that I can't stand it and have to put either cold or heat on whichever one works at the time. I also take medication for it, all the pain all over my body. I can get it in my hair and my armpits. Um, in my knees, legs, everywhere. And it just feels like creepy crawly bugs crawling all over and you can't make that feeling stop. And then another symptom I get is IBS, which it makes it really hard to go to the bathroom and usually I, it's pain, very painful too. And usually I have a heating pad and a blanket into the in the bathroom with me when I go because it's, the warm makes it feel better. They, they feel it's, it's, a, it's the result of overactive nerves and uh, so where this, a person becomes hypersensitive to various, I mean, sometimes it's just the bed sheets, sometimes it's temperature, sometimes it's, um, you know, walking up and down the stairs. And, it, and that becomes the one of the challenges again for, for diagnosis. Uh, but secondary symptoms usually are fatigue, um, sometimes debilitating fatigue. Um, we have uh, issues where we have uh, mental depression. We have uh, issues around digestive issues. I can't move my muscles and it's because I'm tensing up so hard trying to get out of bed because this limb doesn't want to work or my back is hurting so bad because of laying in one position all night it kind of like goes like this and won't do this. Fibromyalgia affects somewhere between three and six million Americans, uh, and generally more uh, more women versus men. One of the biggest challenges of this uh, condition um, is the the effect on real lifestyles, um, and it without question it can be debilitating and it can vary. That's probably the biggest thing, but it, it can be debilitating for the individual. When I see my sister or my sister's friend mowing the lawn. I know that I could be out there doing that, but I don't know if I could handle the heat because heat is a big thing with fibro. That triggers most of my fibromyalgia. Um, so I don't know that I could stand the heat out there mowing the lawn or even with the push mower, I know that I wouldn't be able to walk as far as, 
is the lawn to mow it. People who have fibromyalgia require a lot of care and attention. They're in so much pain that sometimes they can't even walk. Mikey's already crawled to the bathroom when she couldn't stand up or walk. In the middle of the night, when I cannot sleep, when everyone is sleeping in the house, I go to a 24-hour open store, and there are my friends. In the middle of me shopping, they come up and say, I haven't seen you for a while. Where have you been? It's been more of a, I got sleep today. Or if I'm there all the time, it's, you're not getting sleep today, are you? No. I come home and it's daylight. My kids, I'm sending them to school. This is my hydrocodone. It's Norco. That's a restaurant. These are muscle relaxers. I need to function for my kids. These are my medications. Um, these are both Percocet and um, I can take up to eight a day. Tori, I have two of them. This is one, it's called um, Voltaren. This is a muscle relaxer who's willing to do that when you're on it. And then Prilosec. Good old Prilosec. Prilosec helps with the IBS. So this is it. This is all I take for my fibro, the only thing. That's it. One more thing I forgot. Um, I also have asthma. pray to God a lot. He is my hope. He's my strength.